Hey Chem students, Ms. Schwemann here again. Today we're going to learn about rules of measuring. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to measure with precision while using different tools that we'll commonly utilize in chemistry lab this year, such as our thermometer, graduated cylinder, and ruler. The first rule of measuring is that you need to figure out what the smallest marked increment represents on your tool. Now when I say increment, I'm talking about the spacing. What does each line represent? So for example, on this graduated cylinder, each line represents how many milliliters? The answer to that question is one milliliter. Each little line on this graph represents one milliliter in volume. Rule number two, always measure the volume from the bottom of the meniscus. Notice how on a real graduated cylinder, the liquid is generally going to have a slight curve to it at the top. So we want to measure from the bottom of that curve or that meniscus. Rule number three, estimate one decimal place past the smallest increment that you can see. So for example, the smallest increment is one milliliter on this graduated cylinder. Therefore, we know the ones place and we need to estimate to the tenths place. So looking at this graduated cylinder's volume, we can see that if we measure from the bottom of the meniscus, its reading is somewhere between the 15 milliliter mark and the 16 milliliter mark. Therefore, we know the tens place. We know and can see the ones place that the volume is somewhere between 15 and 16 milliliters. And now we need to estimate to the tenths place, one decimal place past what we can already see and what we already know. So a good estimate would be somewhere between 15 and 16 milliliters. And estimating to the tenths place, you might estimate that this volume is 15.5 milliliters. Try this example on your own. Remember to estimate one place past the smallest increment that you can see. While you're practicing, please pause the video to give you time before I give you the answer. So we know and can see that this graduated cylinder goes up by a tenth of a milliliter as its smallest increment. And I can tell that the bottom of my meniscus is reading just about exactly on the 6.6 .6 milliliter line. But I still need to estimate one decimal place past to the hundredths place. Therefore, an appropriate answer, since the volume and the bottom of the meniscus is exactly on the 6.6 .6 line, I would estimate that it is a zero in the hundredth place. Rule number four, beakers and Erlenmeyer flasks are never used for accurate measurements. They are used for holding liquids. You may, however, approximate a volume in a beaker or an Erlenmeyer flask. So if you're allowed to approximate, approximately how much liquid would you say is in this beaker? Take a guess right now. If you said approximately 200 milliliters or two-thirds full, you'd be correct. On to rule number five, when using digital tools such as a balance or pH meter, do not ever, ever, ever estimate. Simply read the numbers directly off the device. The reason being is that the digital tool already estimates one decimal place for you. That's why you don't need to estimate at all. Okay, why don't you try one more practice problem before you take your quiz and see how you do. What is the volume of liquid in this graduated cylinder? If you want to pause the video now to think about it, please do so. Okay, so let's talk about the answer. First thing you do, remember, is figure out what is each little line or increment on your measuring tool um, equal. 
So for this graduated cylinder, it looks like each line is representing 100 milliliters of volume. And if each line is representing 100 milliliters, then I know my thousands place. I know my hundreds place because I can see the bottom of the meniscus reads somewhere between 1,200 and 1,300. I don't know my tens place exactly, so the tens place is the one digit that I need to estimate. And looking at that picture really closely, I would estimate about 1,270 milliliters for the, vol for the volume. If you said something such as 1,280 or 90 or 1,260 milliliters, that would be acceptable as well. However, if you said something such as 1,265 milliliters, that would not be acceptable. Why? Well, because I know my thousands place, I know my hundreds place, I want to estimate to my tens place. So I can't also estimate to my ones place. That's all for now. Once you're ready and after you've viewed your Logger Pro video, go back into Schoology under the Unit 1 folder and take your quiz. Good luck!